I'd, I don't look at fat biking as like mountain biking. I look at it more as kind of winter road biking. <laughs> Coming back from Valemont where I had an incredible cat skiing experience and the snow wasn't super spectacular at the resort so I didn't want to waste time snowboarding and skiing after I just had such a great trip. So I ended up uh, yeah, contacting some guys at a place called District Bike Co and they set me up with a fat bike. I was really pumped for it, uh, appreciated that for sure. Uh, one of the things I always try and do when I go to a new place is experience it at a slower pace while being outside. So whether that's road biking, mountain biking, hiking or just walking, um, or even stand-up paddle boarding if it's kind of a coastline place you want to check out. Uh, it's the best way to kind of run into locals, see really cool things, experience different places. Um, at a different pace than just driving in a car or being on a bus or something, right? And this is the edit of fat biking up at Sun Peaks. Super fun, yeah, I was just up at Sun Peaks. Right. So one of the places I ended up going to was a little pub called Iron Road Brewing. So a brewery that uh, specializes in some really cool beers like most places now. They serve amazing Mexican food, which is what hooked me for a couple nights in a row there. And yeah, the beers are really, really good. And there's other breweries that were worth checking out too. I just didn't have time to, but it was a ton of fun. They treated me well and I really enjoyed it going. So if you get down to Kamloops, uh, I highly recommend Iron Road Brewing. And yeah, check out the guys down at uh, District Bicycle Co. And let them know you saw my video on fat biking and maybe they can set me up with something a little more fun in the summer. Yeah, cheers. Phew.